Hey guys, so today you are going to learn about swine breeds. So these are the ones you're also going to take and fill out um, in that chart. Okay, you won't submit that chart until we're officially done with all of the breeds. Okay, so we're talking about swine breeds. So what is swine? Swine is pig. Okay, so Hampshire. So the Hampshire is origin is from England. Okay, it's from England. Um, it is black with a white belt, okay, so it's black with a white belt, okay, it'll always have that white belt, the Hampshires will always have the white belt. It has erect ears, so its ears are going to stand up, okay, and it has good muscle and carcass leanness. That means that the le meat is lean, okay, and good muscle, so that means it's lean means it's soft, or it's not tough when you're cooking it and eating it, okay. The American Land Race. Okay, its origin is Denmark, okay, and its importance is its white color and droopy ears. So you see his ears, he's got droopy ears. They're noted for their mothering ability and their large litters, okay. You know, we see all of these um, hog farms and everything. So we want, uh, we want a swine that, or a breed of swine that has a great mothering ability. So that way she's going to have large litters. And she's going to take care of those large litters. A pile in China. Um, its origin is Ohio, okay, and it is black with white um, nose points. So the nose point, the points are like on his nose, on his around his um, around her feet, okay. So it tells you nose, feet, and tail. And sometimes their tail has got like a white point on it. They have droopy ears, okay. So droopy. And they're lean and muscular. So you can see that here. They're lean and muscular. A Yorkshire, which you can possibly get it confused with the American land race. But um, we're going to look at the difference. So its origin is England. It's white color and erect ears. Okay, American land race has droopy ears. A Yorkshire has erect ears, meaning they stand up. They don't droop down, okay? They are also known for their large litters and their mothering ability. A Duroc. Okay, its origin is Eastern U.S. Um, they have a red color, medium cherry preferred, but most of the time they look red, okay? They, they have that red color. They do have droopy ears, and they have good feed conversion and growth rate. That is more for, like, growing them for... Um, market. They have good feed conversions, meaning that tells you where you'll rank. And then they have a good mothering ability. Okay, a Chester White. Its origin is Chester County, Pennsylvania. Okay, it is white color and droopy ears. And they are also noted for their mothering ability. How you're going to get, tell the difference between this one and American Land Race is the origin. Is the origin. Berkshire. Okay, its origin is England. Okay, oh gosh, England. It has erect ears with six point white points. So most of the time, the Berkshire is going to have six white points. Um, it's fast and efficient growth, so they don't take long to grow, and they have meatiness and good reproduction. That means they put off good quality meat. Okay, so this is the end of the swine lecture. So what I want you to do is once you have filled out the swine chart in your notes, okay, you're going to resubmit it, and then um, we'll go from there, okay? But like I said, you're not going to officially be done with that chart until we are finished with the poultry lecture, okay? If you have any questions, send Ms. Wallace an email.